participating in the Miss Teen USA pageant at the Venetian in Las Vegas. Athena joins us live on set right now. Thank you for coming in. Good morning. Yay. My goodness, what was that moment like? We just saw it. What oh my it? gosh. It was amazing. I actually competed for four years before I ended up winning, so it was a very long process, and I feel like that moment just made it all worth it. It was awesome. Four years? So what made you go back and, you know, every time? I think it was just my dream. I had always dreamed of being Miss California, and I remember watching Miss Universe and Miss USA on TV when I was a little kid, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, I need to be that one day, and I wasn't going to stop until I got as close as I possibly could, and I finally got it, so this is my chance. What kind of work goes into preparing to be in a pageant, but the, the, the unglamorous side, if you will? I mean, you wear a crown. It's very glamorous. True. But there, are some things, <laughs> there are some things that you have to do to prepare to, to win. That's true. There are a lot of things that go into it. Um, a lot of it is physical. You have to eat right. You have to work out. Make sure that you have the stamina because it's a really tough year. You have to do a lot and be in the public eye a lot. Um, but it's also a lot of mental preparation. You have to be ready to give your opinion to people. You have to be ready for people to not like you. You have to be ready for people to welcome you. You really have to be ready for any kind of response that you'll be getting. There's a lot of different views on pageantry and you just have to be ready for all of that. So. I think that's definitely the toughest part, but it makes it the most worth it once you get there. <laughs> Let's talk about a change that's going to be new this year that you're going to take part in. No more swimsuits. Instead, there will be an athletic wear competition. You haven't seen the new outfits yet. Can you tell me if you think this is a positive change? And if so, what do you think they're trying to get away from? Well, if you want my honest opinion, I was a little sad that they got rid of the swimsuit competition at first because that's always been one of my favorite parts of the competition. I've always felt confident in anything, whether it's, you know, attire of a, a you know, professional kind of whether it's a swimsuit that everybody wears on the beach. Um, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought, oh my gosh, this is such a cool change and how awesome is it that I get to be a part of it for the first year. I think athletic wear is something that's so relevant to today's time. You see everybody in yoga pants, everybody's in t-shirts now, people wear it all around. And I think that that's making the pageant a lot more relatable. If you see someone in a swimsuit, you're like, yeah, I wear a swimsuit sometimes. But if you see someone in yoga pants, you're like, yeah, I wear that all the time, going to the grocery store, anything. So, so outside the pageant world, you're a Leland High grad. Yes. Uh, <laughs> talk about dreams, ambitions beyond beyond that. Is there something you want to do later in life? Yes. A lot of my uh, aspirations have to do with my little brother, Adrian. He has autism. And so one day I aspire to work with people just like him, work with people who have disabilities. Um, I hope to go to school, learn a lot about you know, how, the, how the brain works, learn a lot about psychology, but also learn about public relations, how to deal with people um, who have differences from yourself. One day I hopefully will go to law school and uh, work to become a disability rights attorney. And then again, hopefully one day I get to run for public office. But that's kind of a you big dream. Look at this, Athena. Yeah. We'll see. Oh Vote I'm for me real quick in the because future. We have to go. Uh, are you prepared for perhaps uh, with all the news that's going on for them to ask you about current issues? They might ask you about what we were talking about today with the issue with the police in the community or any sort of tough question in the pageant. Are they going to ask you those? Are you ready? I definitely am, and I'm actually really grateful for social media because social media now allows me to stay so up to date with things that are going on in the world. If something happens, within a matter of minutes, I can know. Someone will text me. It'll be on my Facebook. It'll be on Snapchat or Instagram, and I'm always checking those things being a teenager. I'm always on social media, and it helps me stay relevant to what's going on, and I get to see all different kinds of opinions and kind of base how I feel off of that. So. I think I got the resources. Well, good luck to you, <laughs> Athena Crosby, Miss California Teen USA. Thank Congratulations. You. Nice to with us. And me. All right, coming up next on Mornings on 2 to the 9, actor and comedian Sean Wayne.